like the fuel is coming out. Like right here. And then with the ratchet and shit, see it dripping here. Uh. So it's got a slow drip on that return valve. This guy? So when you last saw us, we were trying to get on the, uh, the old diesel nut on there by the high pressure uh, pump, but couldn't get that strip nut off and then ended up puncturing the return valve to the fuel line. So a call to the Volvo uh, Penta dealer here in Jacksonville and $230 later, two days later, we ended up getting the piece. So now we got to install it. Um, Reading that, it should be pretty easy, so let's dive in. we got to clean up a little bit around the area first so we don't get any particles inside of the fuel system, but uh, uh, we'll get it and then spray paint it so it matches everything. So just get in there with some 409. Clean it around the edges. So you got to pull all the injectors off. And then lift that up and then change out some uh, seals, some washer seals. Alright, so looking at the workshop manual, it's pretty straightforward. They said to hold on to this bottom nut below the uh, return valve uh, so you don't bend the actual fuel injectors and then it's an 18 millimeter that goes on top here and they come off their basic with finger. Well, this one was finger tight, so I'm just going to loosen them all up a little bit and then pull off. Those are off and then I think I need to get those other screws now. I was able to get a 19 mil socket on this guy. Uh, but these ones won't move so easily. And uh, kind of snapped it a little bit, but not in half or anything. But I need to get these off. All right, got all those guys off. So this should lift up. It does, I gotta detach it from here. So let me go grab a screwdriver. Um, that should be it. Get a flathead. That should do. I got it off. Yeah. So that slipped off with relative ease. This is on there pretty good. Um, there's a lot of wire inside of here, and I think it's rubber. I'm going to try to pry it off. Alright, here's a new guy. Old guy right there. Be careful with it this time. Uh, can you grab those copper rings? I think we got to put those on too. I think we're going to need to replace these. I'm going to go ahead and wipe everything down too. How dirty those are, comparatively. I yeah. thought that was a ridge or something, but it's just dirty fuel. Put them on. Also, something I noticed today. So this thing, I always remember being told this is just a straight old D two fifty five. Yeah. No, no F. Or, no F or anything like that. And then I look on here after I cleaned it off, and it said D two fifty five A. But I don't know if that A goes with the eight six eight or what. Huh. What? I have we seen a two fifty A? I don't know. I'll have to double check. I, yeah, I think it might be on there. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, that's what I was... Because you were... It was just too far down on one. Yeah. Kind of have to, like... Both at the same. Coming off, there's some residue. I want to get them nice and good. Hand tighten. Do you want to get this one fully down first? That's not. Yeah, so I think you're going to have to lift up on those just a little bit. There you go. Now you got it. I'm going to go into this cesspool of oil and antifreeze that we have to clean out still. Yes, we have a dirty bilge, a very, very dirty bilge, but we've been waiting to finish all of our engine work before we actually get a full clean. It's way down in there. Can't get it. 
pretty dirty. And our bilge doesn't attach to the rest of the, the engine bilge doesn't attach to the rest of the boat bilge, which I thought was kind of weird. Is that normal? I don't know if anybody can write in the comments no. whether or not that's normal or not. It seemed odd to me. I thought it all was supposed to just flow to the low point in the boat, the bilge. But there's no, there's no breaker down here that runs into the bilge that goes towards the bow. Alright, so that's the... That's the new guy? We'll show you later on the old guy with Paris's. Stripped out. This one? No, 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 no. This thing? Yeah. No, that goes on top, and then this, the nut goes in. This goes all the way down, but uh, it's okay. fighting right. it for some reason. Is that an old seal that I gotta dig out? Can't tell. Kushan Shadrat Ranch. This is gonna be difficult. Alright, so it's gone down, but we gotta leave it open a little bit so we can so we can prime it. There you go. Just came out. All right. All right. All set to do the test. Make sure there's no leaks. All right. We got everything put on. So let's hope that this test goes and put it in uh, forward and reverse. And Jason's going to be down there below making sure we don't have any other fuel leaks. So fingers crossed. All right, one, two, three. Is it looking good? It looked pretty good, no white smoke. What? What'd you say? What did you say? Good. No, no fuel issues? Heck yeah, all right. All right. Leakage or spillage. 